I'm Nathan Ball, back with another episode of my astrology blog. Today, we will dive into the mystery of the Jupiter Moon Europa, the ice-covered enigma that could rewrite the rules of life, and trust me, you'll want to stay tuned. Joining me as always is my co-pilot Brian, ready to guide us through the stardust. Brian, take it away. Thanks, May. I'll do my best to guide us through this thought-provoking topic. Let's explore the dreamscape together. Picture this, a moon, pale and icy, orbiting the gas giant Jupiter like a shy guest at a cosmic party. At first glance, Europa seems about as exciting as a snowball in a blizzard, smooth, cracked and lifeless, but beneath that frigid facade, a secret so juicy it could rewrite everything we know about life in the universe. Europa is no ordinary ice cube drifting through space. It's a celestial tease, showing off its scarred surface while hiding something massive below. And for decades our spacecraft have been peering at it like curious kids, trying to peek behind a curtain. From Voyager's grainy snapshots in 1979 to Galileo's dramatic flybys and Hubble's eerie ultraviolet glows, each image has whispered the same tantalizing question. What lies beneath and why does this frozen satellite make scientists giddy with anticipation like they've just discovered a hidden treasure map? Europa's surface looks like a shattered windshield smeared with chocolate sauce. Long winding cracks stretch across its icy shell like veins on a marble god. These fractures, called lineae, form a tangled web so precise it's almost too perfect to be natural. Scientists notice something weird. Some cracks matched up perfectly on opposite sides, like puzzle pieces torn apart and then gently nudged back together. Dark material oozes into the gaps, as if something from below is trying to escape. Europa doesn't always play hard to get. Sometimes it gives us a peek. In 2012, the Hubble Space Telescope caught something strange near Europa's South Pole. Ultraviolet glows that look suspiciously like vapor plumes. These cryovolcanic eruptions, driven by tidal stresses, shoot water vapor up to 120 miles high before falling back to the surface. The discovery lit up the scientific community like a 4th of July fireworks show. If these plumes contain more than just water, if they carry salts, organics, or even microscopic cells, they offer a golden opportunity direct sampling of Europa's ocean without drilling through miles of ice. Even cooler old data from Galileo revealed that the probe likely flew through a plume in 1997, detecting sudden changes in magnetic fields and charged particles consistent with ionized water. Hubble and Galileo, two puzzle pieces from different eras, point to the same conclusion Europa exhales these plumes might be more than just geysers, they could be messengers from an alien biosphere. Organic molecules, complex hydrocarbons or even microbial cells could be frozen into ice grains scattered across the surface like glitter dropped by aliens. Get ready for the ultimate cosmic road trip. NASA's Europa Clipper, launched in October 2024, will arrive at Jupiter around 2030. Unlike previous missions, Clipper won't orbit Europa directly. Instead, it'll circle Jupiter, making about 50 close flybys of the moon, sometimes flying as low as 15 miles above the surface. Clipper carries a suite of nine cutting-edge instruments designed to do one thing, taste Europa's breath. High-res cameras will map the icy terrain. A thermal imager will hunt for warm spots. Radar sounders will peer into the ice shell. Magnetometers will confirm the ocean's presence. Mass spectrometers will analyze plumes for organic molecules. Dust analyzers will capture microscopic grains ejected from the surface. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency's JUICE mission, launched in April 2023, will perform two flybys of Europa during its journey to Ganymede. Its instruments will complement clippers, offering new perspectives on the Moon's surface and environment. Together, these missions will give us our clearest view yet of Europa's hidden ocean and potentially the first hints of life beyond Earth. Could Europa be home to more than microbes? Could evolution have taken strange turns in its eternal darkness? Imagine creatures navigating pitch black depths using electric signals or pressure waves, squid-like beings gliding silently through the abyss. Fish with bioluminescent lures hunting in the gloom or maybe just maybe intelligence. While these ideas are pure speculation, they're not entirely crazy. Europa's ocean has been stable for billions of years, long enough for evolution to explore every ecological niche. 
And unlike Mars or Titan, Europa strikes the perfect balance, a large, long-lived ocean, active geology, and a steady energy supply. As Kurt Nyber, NASA's lead scientist for outer planet exploration, puts it, uh, Europa is the most likely place to look for life beyond Earth today. Europa is no longer just a distant point of light. By the mid-2030s, thanks to Clipper and Juice, it will become a world with landscapes, chemistry, and perhaps even a catalogue of its ocean's ingredients. Will we find simple organic matter, complex chemistry, or signs of microbial life? Or will the ocean turn out to be sterile, too salty, too cold, too chemically inhospitable? Only one thing is certain. The adventure of revealing the truth about this enigmatic moon is just beginning. Stay tuned. Europa is about to speak. And that's a wrap, my friends. Remember, the universe sends whispers, not shouts. So tune in and trust the process. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumb up, subscribe for more Astro Insights, and leave a comment to share your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious, stay magical, and keep shining like the star you are.